All right, guys, I'm going to show you where all the female soldiers are in the main campaign. Um, I'll go ahead and have a list of all the missions down below, but this is mission number nine. And uh, I do have cheats on, because you can tell, since I'm, like, flying through the map at, like, fucking record-breaking speeds. And, uh, but yeah, no, the first female soldier that you'll encounter in the campaign is always in here on uh, mission number nine. And you just, you know, whoop, center on her teleportation hell hole thing, whatever it is. Oh yeah, sometimes you'll find this guy, he's just kind of wandering around here, so you can save him if you want. I, uh, just kind of walk up to him and, you know, give him a good kick for not being a female soldier. Because that's what we have to do to male soldiers. We're taking Australia's example. <clears throat> but no, um, and then this other soldier, she's gonna be near the palace, she's gonna be wandering around somewhere. Most of the time I find her, she's out, it's kinda in the sand, dune-ish area around her. So you just run up to her and... You know, save her, and then you can, you're can you on your way to having an all-female army. Because every big boss, every Venom Snake needs their harem. What? And then, uh, this is uh, Lingua Franca. I do believe it's mission number nine. So if you want to make this easier on yourself, too, to complete it, you can just come right over here and just completely ignore all the other bullshit. Just go ahead and scan this fucking thing, and it'll give you locations of... All the different places they're holding the prisoners, and if you just do a 180 and go like straight back, you'll like see a little marker that's basically right behind here, uh, or right behind where you are now. If you just 180, and then you can just go right out there and save them. It's pretty easy, actually, especially if you do it at night. Um, this is where I've always found. Then again, I almost always do it at day. So, oh, and if you want, like, if you have a thing for blondes, I guess this is the mission to go for, man. Because every single time I've come on this mission, this is the one I've got. And I'm pretty sure you can farm this way. Although the uh, e easiest way, the easiest way to farm is uh, if you just do the side missions. I'll do a separate video on the side missions. Oh, and if you're using the cheats to run really fast, like I am, you do it sometimes. Be careful because sometimes when you come right out here, the fucking thing just breaks. It'll just fucking explode. And then there's a bike count. Oh, and then this is Rishi Bishi. I have no idea what Rishi Bishi is. You should look up Rishi Bishi though, because I was like, I was gonna look it up, and then I completely, totally fucking forgot. And then this is the White Mamba mission, which I do believe is mission twenty-three. I think it's twenty-three. You know, this one is twenty-three because I think the next one's twenty-four. So then you can just come out here, just kind of wander around for a little bit. You can see the ships right over there. So uh, if you wander around, this is where I've pretty much always found her. It says random. But every single time I've done this mission, this is where I've found this female soldier. Pick her up, and then you just throw her down. Teach her a lesson for being captured. Hopefully she doesn't burst into flames. Then you just send her back to hell. All that good stuff. Mission 24, you just go through the forest. Now this one's actually pretty easy to sneak. And especially if you're at the point where you have the wormhole uh, Fulton. This is extra easy. You can just uh, go right up to them and, you know, get their shit. All kinds of supplies around here, too. And, uh... If you take the semi-automatic sniper, well, this is not the semi-automatic sniper, well, this is the Trank sniper, because I was going to try and snipe the White Mama, but then I thought, hey, that might be a good little uh, side video in and of itself, you know? But, anyway, so you just come right in here, and there you go. They're always right in here, always right in this tent. You can save the male, and so this way you have a more slightly diverse force, but uh, you won't get quite as many feminism points, so take that into consideration. And then, the last mission is just a repeat of the first mission. It's mission 34, which is an extreme version of mission number 9. So, uh, you can also tell, once again, that I'm cheating because I didn't bring a missile launcher this time. Uh, what I like to do with this mission, too, is if you do have the cheats, is you can just knock out everybody. And it's really great because then you can, every time you do this mission, you can get the two female soldiers, and then you can also get two armored uh, personnel carriers. Although, I wouldn't recommend it because... Then you're going to end up sitting here for roughly, I think, whatever the time is. Because if you turn if you turn off the thing, if you make it so that they all get knocked out right at the beginning, uh, yeah, they, they pretty much don't spawn in the rest. So you just get the, the two that are already there, and then you can't do much of anything from there, so you just have to sit and wait around. This is why I would not recommend this mission for farming, unless you just really want a couple of APCs. So, uh, yeah, there's that. Enjoy.